Thank you, Arsenal. of these facilities comprising the 3D graphic studio, the television studios and all its components, and the sound recording studios is in line with the university's bigger initiative of expanding and retooling our research and teaching laboratories, studios and workshops which started some few years ago. This initiative has resulted in the establishment of the state-of-the-art central laboratory, the oil and gas laboratories, the chemical and petrochemical laboratories, and greenhouses in the Faculty of Agriculture, both automated and manual, and several teaching laboratories in our departments and faculties. The program has also seen the retooling of some of our existing laboratories and studios. Today, as we commission these facilities, we add onto our capacity as a top science and technology university in the sub-region and bring a new dimension to the training of our students in the communication and design program at the communication design department of the Faculty of Art within the College of Art and the built environment. The teaching and skills training in the department has been limited by the lack of these logistics, and thus we have had to rely on others to augment the gaps, sometimes to the inconvenience of the partner or stakeholder. However, today brings an end to this limitation. These facilities, especially the 3D graphic studio, would also enhance the training of our architects and engineers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the provision of these facilities, apart from the training of our students, also provide the university with the capacity and opportunities for educational broadcasting, as we have been told already, information dissemination, especially with respect to research uptake, production of educational materials, which we hope and believe our sector ministry, the Ministry of Education, will take advantage of. These facilities will bring a new dimension to our distance education programs as it helps to expand the multimedia frontiers of distance learning. The department would now be in a better state to expand these postgraduate programs and short courses for those in the field. There are several other initiatives that I believe with these facilities, the staff and students would develop and roll out to the benefit of the nation. Bringing my speech to a close, 
I want to make an appeal to our Deputy Ministers present here, specifically the Deputy Minister for Communication and also the Deputy Minister for Education, to support the department and the university with respect to licensing as has been highlighted and also finances. This is the first of such facility in any state university in Ghana, which would also be interdisciplinary as it combines science, technology, and engineering in the training of our students. We are entering the election year, so I'm hoping that uh, promises would land today uh, from, the, from the ministers present. So please, let's all be prepared to hear something. Finally, I want to, Deputy Minister for Communication, make this statement and I hope you communicate it to the Minister for Communication, Dr. Omanu Boama, the Minister for Communication, and the Deputy Minister of Education. I want to put him on record in charge of tertiary, that's Honorable Okujata Blackwa, for coming to commission the facilities. And quite apart from that, for their continuous interest in the growth and development of this institution. We want to thank you for your support. I also want to acknowledge the tremendous support from the provost of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, uh, Professor Brahman. Before the changeover, he had supported this initiative and I especially and tremendously want to thank uh, the provost of the College of Art and Growth Environment, Professor Bedu, who are giving everything to make sure that this project sees uh, the light of day. I want to acknowledge the Dean of the Faculty of Art and the Head of Department of Communication Design and his team. I say kudos for your persistence, resilience, and focus. Congratulations for the journey thus far. Thank you all and God bless us.